Hi guys, so I was actually originally going to film this a couple days ago, um, but I didn't have the energy then like I wanted, and I have um, some energy today, so I'm going to film and share with you guys what the past week and a half has been like, because it's been kind of horrible and not great at all. So I guess I'll just jump right into it. So. My brother Josh brought home a stomach bug, so he had a stomach bug. And then two days later, my dad and my other brother, Justin, got it. And they were sick as dogs. And then there was three days in between them getting sick and me getting sick. In this three-day span, me and my mom both thought that we were good and that maybe we weren't going to get it because we tried everything. I mean, elderberry syrup, activated charcoal, um, what else? Like some doTERRA stuff essential oils like we tried it all and did as much as we could but i ended up waking up last saturday at 5 a.m sick very very sick with the stomach bug and i was so sick to the point where something happened where i threw up my back somehow which i'm still recovering from that it's better today, thankfully. Um, but that was <laughs> not very nice. And that whole Saturday, I had no meds, which I take about 20 plus different medications a day. And a lot, some of them are to control my POTS and my cyclic vomiting syndrome and my dysautonomia and my hemoplegic migraines. And I had nothing in my system. I couldn't keep any down. I, anything down, I couldn't get CoQ10 down, which is so important for me. It's part of the mitococktail and something that saved my life so many times. Um, but I couldn't get it down. I couldn't eat that whole entire day. I got, my parents did access me and started me on IV fluids immediately. Well, not immediately, but like within a couple of hours of me getting sick. So I had IV fluids to help me because quite honestly, without IV fluids while I was sick, I don't think I would be here right here I would probably be in the hospital but I don't remember anything really from Saturday I just remember being sick um and that's kind of all I remember and I just like slept all day like all day um so no food no meds not really any water down the next day pretty much the same thing but through this, I mean, my blood pressure was obviously not great. And my heart rate was through the roof. Same thing Monday, but Monday I was feeling better. And Tuesday, I was finally able to take the most important meds and get some food down. So I'm grateful for that. And you're probably like, that sucks. That sound it sounds like it's been a really hard week, which is true. But unfortunately, that's not the half of it with me. So I have something called, and I wish I was able to like share how bad gastroparesis is. Like I can't, like unless you deal with it, you don't know how bad it is and how miserable it is. And that's what it's been like this whole week. And along with that, my body has not been doing good. Um, I've been very symptomatic, which I won't get too into because I don't want this video to be too long. But basically, whenever you have a chronic illness and you get sick, it triggers your chronic illnesses. So for me, it triggered my gastroparesis. And also triggered my hemoplegic migraine. I felt poopy every day. I felt horrible every day. Excuse my dog. He is being very playful right now and I don't know why he's barking. I've had to basically lay down since I got sick. I haven't really been able to set up too much except for Thanksgiving. I was able to enjoy a couple of hours of sitting up, which I was really, really so grateful for. I was so incredibly grateful for that. And um, yeah, so I was able to do that. But then I crashed and I actually got deaccessed the day before Thanksgiving so I could take a shower because I had just hit that point where like, I could function without fluids, but Thanksgiving turned out to, we knew there was a high probability of me having to go back on fluids, 
on Thanksgiving and that ended up happening because I started crashing pretty bad. Um, and yeah, so put me back on fluids, was on fluids all day yesterday and fluids all day today. And then I think I'm going to do my weekly infusions two days early tomorrow, which is Monday. Um, and also, hello, you want to say hi? Oh, hello. To give you kind of a summary consensus, I'm basically out for another whole week. So I have a debate on Wednesday for school. And I will be going to school in the afternoon for that debate and then going straight home. And this week I won't go anywhere because I can't really handle it. And after this video, I'm probably going to crash because I have this really bad talent of faking it. And I've kind of faked it this whole video. And now I'm kind of feeling it. Hope you guys enjoyed this update, and, um, yeah, but don't forget to like this video, subscribe down below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.